General Motors beating on the top and the bottom line in the first quarter. Shares moving higher this morning. Lots to discuss with GM CFO Paul Jacobson, who's joining us live uh, from the GM headquarters. Paul, uh, let's start first off with the Q1 results. You beat on the top and the bottom line. More importantly, you raise your guidance for the full year uh, in terms of uh, how much you expect to earn between 11 and $13 billion. You're pretty pleased with where you guys are right now, correct? Yeah, well, good morning, Phil. And let me just start by saying it was a great day and a great quarter for the for the team at GM. They really executed well. And when we look at the the results of the quarter, you know, we saw um, continued strong pricing, uh, great inventory management, great demand for our products, and uh, also got a lot of traction. Um, starting to get a lot of traction on the cost line with our two billion dollar program. So we felt confident after seeing those results, uh, raising our guidance for the full year. There's been a lot of hand-wringing about pricing, and in particular, how quickly it might erode. I know you're down just a little bit compared to where you were in Q1 of last year, but you're still average transaction price of greater than $50,000 uh, for every vehicle that you're selling. How quickly do you think that new vehicle prices for this industry erode this year? So, you know, we've been planning um, what we think is fairly conservatively from the beginning, and uh, and that's part of the reason why I think first quarter exceeded our expectations. So we're still lapping a lot of last year's wholesale price increases that we had to put through for higher materials costs, higher logistics costs, et cetera. But the consumers remain strong, and when you look at the new vehicle launches we have this year, coupled with the high-quality vehicles that we have, um, customers are demanding that. So if you look, for example, in our new heavy-duty launches, 52% of Chevy uh, Silverado HD customers are opting for the high-end, uh, high-country uh, trim package, and 30% of GMC Sierra Denali uh, HD customers are opting for the Denali Ultimate package, which is a trim level we didn't even have a year ago uh, that we created because of so much customer demand. So we see customers responding well to the vehicles we're producing. Paul, we see uh, the leader in electric vehicles, Tesla, cutting its prices, putting pressure on EV prices across the board, not only here in North America, but around the world. What are you expecting for EV prices, especially as you guys have a number of new models that are going to be coming out? You've got the, the new Equinox, the new Chevy Blazer, both electric, uh, along with the current models that you already have. I mean, you've got a real ramp up coming here. What are you expecting in pricing? Yeah, so our, our EV portfolio is really ramping up, as you said. We'll, we'll, we expect to produce 50,000 EVs in the first half, about double that in the second half on our way to our 400,000 um, uh, total goal from 22 through the first half of 2024. And when you look at a lot of the pricing noise, we've, we've remained, I think, pretty consistent across the board. Uh, we've got a pricing strategy that customers have responded to. You can tell that through the order books and the uh, hand raisers that we've seen um, for all each and every one of the vehicle models going forward. So we've maintained some consistency about that, and I think we've got a good pricing strategy. I think longer term, obviously, we've got to focus on making sure we execute around our margins. That's part of why we've taken aggressive actions on a $2 billion cost reduction program, is help to keep those margins in play um, so that we can be competitive across the board. Paul, what's going on in China? I mean, we, we see the price wars that are happening there, and the Chinese auto brands are becoming much more aggressive, particularly making uh, life more um, challenging for foreign brands selling over there, like General Motors. Uh, what are you seeing both in terms of the overall market as well as pricing for electric vehicles? So China was challenging this quarter, uh, Phil, as you said, you know, still recovering a little bit from the COVID shutdowns, but also a lot of competitive activity, particularly in EVs. We have some new models, uh, new electric vehicle models coming uh, across all three of our uh, Buick, uh, Cadillac and Chevrolet. Uh, in China. So we feel good about that. And I think the team has executed well uh, in a challenging environment, uh, still maintaining profitability uh, there in the region uh, while they go through this. We, we think it's probably going to be in the second half before we start to see some material improvement across the board, but really proud of that team there. But uh, we've got a competitive suite of products and we feel good about our hand. Real quick, Paul, uh, because we've got to uh, move to another interview. You did not mention yesterday during a briefing with reporters that you guys are expecting a recession. What, what are you, what's your game plan for the rest of this year? Are you think, pr uh, planning for a, a possible recession here in the U.S.? So what, we, what we've done, Phil, and we announced this at our investor day last year, is we're planning for about 15 million units 
uh, industry this year. We came in a little bit above that. Um, and uh, that would come with some uh, assumed uh, incentive increases, pricing reductions, and, and we've built that in. But our, our execution through this has, has really been strong in the first quarter, and we feel confident about get, uh, getting through the year. And uh, I'll just let me close by saying uh, a little birdie told me it's your birthday, so I want to make <laughs> sure I don't uh, leave without saying happy birthday, Phil. <laughs> Well, thank you, Paul. The most important news of the day. Now I can go downstairs and have a, a, a birthday donut. Paul Jacobson, CFO yeah, of General Motors, thank you very much for joining us.